The orders? What orders? <coughs> the orders. It doesn't matter who reads the orders. <sighs> Suppose you should get on with it then. No. It's your turn today. You read them. <laughs> no dice. But I insist. Out of the question. But I want you to read them. It doesn't matter. You said yourself. It doesn't matter who reads the orders. Nevertheless, I'm asking you to do it as a favor to me. Well, aren't you going to pick it up? No. Exercises for the day. Excellent. Excellent. I haven't even read anything yet. It's a start. A good start. Get right down to basics. Very clever. Physical exercises for the day. Take a deep breath. Hold the air in your lungs and then exhale. above your head and then bend down and touch your toes. something, what they really mean is do your best. That's not what it means at all. When they say do something, they mean do it. You can't do something you can't do. That wouldn't make any sense. Do you think it's supposed to make sense? I think we should go on to the next one. We can't just let it go. But if we don't, we'll never get finished. Why bother to finish it if we can't get past the beginning? Is there anything that says it's better to fail than to do nothing at all? We haven't failed. We're just doing what we have to do. Has it ever occurred to you that maybe we're supposed to fail? Just by... We might be succeeding just by failing. It's all a test. They want to see what we're made of. <laughs> So I didn't know that already. I think we should go on to the next one. Whatever you say, it makes no difference. It makes no difference! Are you ready? 
Yes, I'm ready. What's the next one? There is no next one. <laughs> <laughs> There is no next one. No more physical exercises. That's the end of physical exercises. Is there anything after that? Spiritual exercises. And what, pray tell, are spiritual exercises? They're a way to get our minds ready for the work to be done. Ooh, how nice. Just think, our minds will do the work. And we could just sit here and watch. <laughs> Mind over matter. Long live the spirit. <laughs> Are you finished? <laughs> and if I were? It wouldn't make any difference. That's what I thought. <laughs> Far away. Spiritual exercises. Stop, look, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes, think of all the things you have just seen and heard. <laughs> Tell yourself, this is where I am, this is who I am, this is what I am. This is who I am, this is where I am. This is what I am. This is where I am. This is who I am. This is what I am. <laughs> is that all? That's the end of spiritual exercises. <laughs> The instructions. Ah, good. I love to hear you read them. You always do it with such vigour. You think so? Yeah, I really do find it, how shall I say, inspiring. Oh, you're too kind. Too kind. Not every time you understand, but much of the time. <clears throat> Perhaps nine out of fifteen times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nine out of fifteen. Or 20 times, I find it truly inspiring. All right, listen carefully. Instructions. Today you've been given 18 stones to work with. Before going any further, count the stones and make sure there are no mistakes. Stan, go count the stones. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I count seventeen. Seventeen. Seventeen! How are you counting seventeen? There are eighteen! What do you want me to do about it? I count 17. Am I supposed to lie to you? But you are lying. And you don't think they could have made a mistake? There are no mistakes in this world. Then take a look for yourself, Mr. Smarty Pants. But don't say I didn't tell you. That's exactly what I'll do. Out of my way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18. 18! Can you hear me? Can you see it? There are 18. Do I have to do everything for you? You don't have to shout. I'll shout if I want to shout. Do you hear me? I'll shout if I want to shout. All right, pay attention. Instructions. Today you've been given 18 stones to work with. Before going on, any further, count the stones and make sure there are no mistakes. 
The stones are to be carried to their designated positions along the wall line. The wall line is a furrowed strip of ground you will see at your feet. Before going any further, make sure you have located the wall line. Do you see it? Of course I can see it. Do you think I'm blind? <laughs> Today's section of the wall will consist of three rows of six stones each. The stones will be placed in their positions in the following order. Bottom row, stones one and two side by side, equidistant from the two ends of the wall line. Stone three beside stone one, stone four beside stone two, stone five beside stone three, stone six beside stone four. Have you got that? No problem. No problem. Middle row, stone seven will be placed on top of stone five. Stone eight on top of stone six, stone nine. Have you got that? No problem. No problem. Top row. Stone 13 will be placed on top of stone 7. Stone 14 on top of stone 8. Stone 15 on top of stone 9. Stone 16 on top of stone 10. Stone 17 on top of stone 11. Stone 18 on top of stone 12. I've got it. I've got it. No problem. It's all tucked away in here. <laughs> right. Is there anything else? Final remarks. Final remarks. The work of the day is about to begin. <clears throat> you have been given your work and know what you are about to do. Let nothing get in the way of your work. You may be inspected at any time. Remember, this is restricted ground. All trespassers are subject to the full force of the law and will be dealt with harshly. Sit down on the ground and wait for the sound of a bell. When the bell has rung, begin. Do not begin until you have heard the bell. These are the orders. Do not forget the orders. Concentration. Just one thing, please. Shh. Don't you know the rules? <laughs> Why does it always have to be this way? I never get a chance to talk. <laughs> See what I mean? You're the one who's always telling me what I should do and what I shouldn't do and when I should do it and when I shouldn't. Who made you the boss, Ollie? Who made you so high and mighty that I'm not even asked, allowed to ask you just one tiny little question? Oh, shut up, why don't you? Stop that whining of yours. You make me sick. Be a man. <laughs> you just stop making all that, that noise.
can't go on. I can't take it. Oh, is this, anymore. Is this the end? No, this is the beginning. And if I stopped, if I simply stopped and walked away, it wouldn't be the end? There would be trouble. And then what would happen to you? How would you eat? I could always do what I did before. But you didn't do anything before. What difference does that make? It was no worse than this. <laughs> you just don't understand the work, that's all. I understand, and my back hurts. I understand that if I ever lift another stone, I'll never walk straight again. I understand that I'm going out of my mind. And you don't think I am? You don't think I might like to have someone else to talk to every now and then? My life hasn't always been like this, you know. This is a time, an interim period, a time for taking stock, for gaining new strength. Strength? You call this strength? I mean inner strength. Balls! If you carry on like this, you won't have the strength to pick your nose. I want to learn how, once and for all, how to do the thing that has to be done. If I have to lift a stone, I want to learn to think of nothing but the stone. I want to admire the stone for the strength it takes out of me. I want to understand that the energy it takes is no longer mine but the stone's. I want to love the stone. I want to learn how and why the stone is more powerful than I. I want to remember once and for all that the stone will continue to exist long after I am dead. Hey, Ollie. Did you hear the word about the two men? I said, did you hear the word about the two men? Stanley, I have it. Which one is that? <laughs> well, there are these two men, you see. And every morning, on the way to work, they pass each other in the street. And they'd nod hello, but they'd never say a word. And then one day, finally, after 20 years, this one man stops the other in the street and says, We've been passing each other every morning for the last 20 years and not once have you ever stopped and asked me how I am. <laughs> I'm really sorry, says the other man. I didn't mean to be rude. <coughs> so, my friend, how are you? And the other guy says, <sighs> Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Stanley, that's real good. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's good to say. It's a good job. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Very good, Stanley. Very good. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, what are you hey, doing? I'm laughing. <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? I'm laughing. <laughs> we have got to get back to work. What time is it? It's late. We're behind schedule. No more farting around, eh? That's one way of putting it. Oh, <laughs> 
Let's not stop. Oh. Oh. Let's keep going. Oh. Oh. We could get finished with the bottom row if we don't stop. Oh, oh I, I have to rest my back, my lungs, my heart. I think I'm going to burst. All right, you stay here and rest. I'll try for another. Stanley. Stanley. Yes. Do you think we're alone? Stanley. Yes. Do you think we're alone or do you think there are others like us? No. Stanley. Alone. I keep thinking there are others. I mean, how could a wall go up if there aren't others to build it? It would never get finished. And what's the point of building something if it can't be finished? Stanley. Stanley. Yes? What do you think? Nothing. If there are others, they must not be far away. It's true, we haven't seen anyone yet. But maybe we're working towards them. Closer and closer, a little bit at a time. Unless we're working in the other direction, of course. Or unless the wall is so long that by the time we get to them, they'll all, they'll all be gone. Who in turn, those ones will be gone too. What do you think, Stanley? Do you think we're moving closer or farther away? Stanley. Farther and farther away. Well, you can think what you like. But I think there's more to this than meets the eye. When I think of the wall, it's as if it were bigger. If I were, it's as if I were going beyond what I can think. It's as if it was bigger. So big, so big, that it's more expansive than anything else. <clears throat> and yet, in itself, in itself, it's just a wall. <laughs> Walls can be many things, can't they? Can keep in or keep out. It can protect or destroy. It can help things or make them worse. It can be a part of something greater <coughs> or only what it is. <coughs> Do you know what I mean? It's all, it all depends on how you look at it. Don't you agree, Stanley? Wake up, you fool! It's time to get up.
Now, should we continue, my lord? By all means, let's continue. <laughs>
stole them. Do what? <laughs> I stole them. You mean, you took what didn't belong to you. Am I supposed to worry about it? No, I suppose not. Of course not. Here, let me see. <laughs> well, <laughs> ah, what do you see? I see a man. A man. What's he look like? Well, he's uh, looking up into the trees, and he seems to be spitting. Spitting. <laughs> what else do you see? What does he look like? He's little. He's bent over. He's wearing a long, dark coat. He looks like, he looks like a piece of, a piece of human flotsam. <laughs> human flotsam. What are you talking about, human flotsam? There are too many opinions around here, and not enough facts. Well, uh, I have to admit, the image from here is not too impressive. <laughs> What's he doing now? It's hard to see so far away. Wait, yes, he's talking to the tree. He's shaking his fist. His fist? Wait, he stopped shaking his fist. He's spinning around. He's He's falling. He's spinning around again. Oh, he's coming this way. Do you think there's going to be trouble? Maybe he's just coming to tell us what a good job we've been doing. Oh, I doubt that. <laughs> a Duxley Wild Man would come all this way just to say hello and pat us on the back. Unless he has nothing to do with the wall. He could just be a man out for a stroll, taking in the country air. That's not possible. Why not? This is restricted ground. Ah. What do you think we should do? Maybe we could just ignore him. How can we ignore him when he's standing right in front of us? You know. Play deaf and dumb. That wouldn't be polite. <laughs> what does etiquette have to do with it? We don't want to make a bad impression, do we? Besides, we'd never pull it off. You'd start laughing. <laughs> Me? If anyone slipped up, it would be you. You'd probably start crying. You don't know what you're talking about? I'm a terrific actor. Just give me a part, and I'm it. <laughs> Is that all you think it takes to act? Just give me a part, and I'm it. You've got to get yourself into the skin of the character. Once you land your lines, the rest is easy. <laughs> you could never learn any lines. The moment you walked on stage, you'd go blank. Wanna try me? Try you? Give me a person to be, and I'll show you. There's no time for that now. No time? What are you talking about? I want to learn my lines. Just be yourself. That's hard enough as it is. <laughs> but how are we going to fool that man? We have to get ready. There's no lines for that. No lines? How can there be no lines? We have to learn our lines. Don't you remember? Remember? How can I remember? I haven't been given me lines. <laughs> there are no lines. We're supposed to play deaf and dumb. <laughs> ah. Well, do you want to go on with it? No, I'm not interested. <laughs> then what do you want to do? <sighs> Nothing. Nothing. What I mean is, maybe we shouldn't plan anything in advance. Maybe we should just, you know, Play it by ear. That's simply one of the worst ideas I've 
ever heard. You think of a better one? What time is it, Ollie? <laughs> it's late. It's getting later. <laughs> Shall we have our lunch? Our lunch? If you say so, of course. By all means, let's have our lunch. Well, we're just talking about something really important.
kind of blather are you spouting now? Can dead people move? Can dead people breathe? Can dead people talk? How do we know what happens after death? Maybe this is it. For all we know, we could be sitting in heaven right now. Heaven. Heaven, hell, the happy hunting grounds, whatever you want to call it. I only mean the place people go to after they're dead. Don't you think we'd know if we were dead? And anyway, how is this any different from life? It's not. That's the point. It's the same. That's not a very happy thought. I'd rather be a pile of ashes. Think of it another way. What can you remember? If you were alive, your brain would be crammed with memories, wouldn't it? Well, what can you remember? Why do you have to play around like this? Can't you see I'm exhausted? Don't want to think about it. You see, you can't remember anything. Of course I can. What? Name one thing you can remember. check on the stranger. He must be close by now. Do you think he's the inspector? Who else could he be? Too much talk and not enough action, right? That's one way of putting it. What do you think will happen to us? <clears throat> Nothing. Nothing will happen to us. Nothing good. You can be sure of that. not to come. If we work quickly, we could be finished before the day ends. What makes you so sure he was the inspector? You said so yourself. Who else could he have been? Nothing is certain. He could have been a trespasser. Then he would have been in trouble. The orders say trespassers will be dealt with harshly. If he was a trespasser, yes. But nothing certain. What are you trying to say? Maybe he was something else. Either he was the trespasser or he was the inspector. There is no other possibility. Anything's possible. He might have been someone like us. Maybe he was trying to find us and got lost. But there is no one else. You said so yourself. We're alone. I might 
have said that. But I also might have been wrong. You're going around in circles. All right. And besides, what difference does it make what he was? It's just that we'll never know. That's all. Unless someday he comes again. Or doesn't. What time is it? It's late. We have got to get back to work. Well, go ahead. I won't stop you. <laughs> but we have to do it together. No, we don't. <laughs> I'm finished. This is the end. But you can't stop now. There won't be enough time if you don't help me. I'm too up on you already, anyway. Too up on me? Don't you remember? Of course I remember. But that doesn't matter now. It's going to get, get dark soon. If we don't get finished, there's going to be trouble. This is the end. I tell you. I'm on strike. Don't you care what happens to you, Stanley? That's exactly what I do care about. Don't you have any pride in your work? In our work? Stop <coughs> trying to talk me into it, Ollie. I'm finished. And won't you do it for my sake? For friendship's sake. I'm telling you, there's nothing left. No more friendship. No more war. What am I going to do with you? Oh. Oh. What the hell am I going to do with you? What are you doing? I'm not going to let you walk out on me. Do you hear me? You're going to work, even if it kills you. <laughs> Ollie, what are you doing? <laughs> Stand up. Stand up. <laughs> You're going to work. Do you hear me? <laughs> Don't play games with me. Stand up. Stand up. Don't play games. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? <laughs> now, you're going to work now. You can't make me do it. You can't make me do it. Go ahead and kill me. It doesn't matter. I'm never going to do that work again. I'm finished. I'm finished. Suit yourself, traitor. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Nothing matters, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> Watching us. 
I don't know, and I don't care. All I care about now is getting finished before the day is over. But wouldn't you like to know, once and for all, exactly how we stand? I mean, don't you think we should put it to the test? If we both stopped work now, if we both just refused to go on, don't you think it would force them to act? There's no time for that now. What do you mean? It's never too late. Anything we did or didn't do wouldn't make any difference. We've gone too far already. If we stop now, they think we're tired and give us more tomorrow. The only thing to do is to start from the beginning with the orders. We should refuse to open the book. <coughs> they know what we're up to. That would be the real test. But that's what you said yesterday. You said we would do that today. You were supposed to remind me. I forgot. <laughs> what difference does it make now, anyway? It makes all the difference. All the difference in the world. Then why didn't you think of it before? It didn't occur to me. Then why are you worried about it now? Because it has occurred to me. <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to weep for you? I weep enough for myself. <laughs> and for you, too. For me. You weep for me. Don't make me laugh. Yes, for you. Just look at you. You're falling apart. <laughs> You're wasting away. You look like you look like a piece of human flotsam. <laughs> well, you don't look so wonderful yourself. <laughs> did I say I did? I look horrible. I feel horrible. I'm turning into I'm turning into Christ. Don't even know what I am anymore. I disgust myself. You shouldn't have any regrets, Stanley. I don't. That's the problem. I don't <laughs> have any regrets. Where are you going? Back to work. Don't let me stop you. <laughs> I won't. About. They're all the same size, the same shape, the same color. How oh, can they be? Don't you remember what happened before? Before? When we lifted those two stones and didn't have any trouble with them, they were so. light. <laughs> yes, I remember. That was quite the moment, wasn't it? See? They were different. They were lighter. But they couldn't have been lighter. All the stones are the same. But they were lighter! It was like a miracle! No, it couldn't have been a miracle. There are no miracles. It was all because of us. Us? Us. The stones were the same. Just like any other stones, but we were the ones who were different. Do you realize what you're saying? Of course I do. <laughs> what <am> I say? <laughs> that everything depends on us. Us. That's impossible. We're the victims. I'm sure of it. You can't be sure of anything. Believe me, we are the victims. 
You know something, Ollie? What? You still haven't helped me pick out my stone. Ah, uh, yes, your stone. Well, if you really want my opinion, I think that you should pick that one. Mm hmm? Not bad. But what about that one? Well, if you put it that way, it could be that the one over there would be the best of all. You know, you just may be right. Yes, I think you've done it, by God. <laughs> Many thanks, Mr. Hardy. <laughs> it's an honor, a pleasure. Many Mr. Lord. thanks. <laughs> Many thanks indeed. <laughs> now. something, only to destroy it. So how else can you destroy it? You've got to build it first. <laughs> Believe me, I am tempted. We can knock down the old damn thing. <laughs> it's a beautiful thought, isn't it? <sighs> it will be everything worthwhile. But you know, the minute we did it, they'd be down on our heads. We can fight them off. With what? With the little stones. We'll fight them off with the little stones. But where would we get the little stones? From the big stones. We'd break the big stones into little stones. How would we do that? We don't even have a hammer. Well, we'll fight them off with our fists. Stanley, do you want to die? Do you really want to die? What's going to happen to us? 
Nothing's going to happen to us. Isn't that like being dead? Not really. It just means nothing's going to happen to us. We'll get back to work and finish, won't we? Yes. We'll get back to work and finish. We'll finish the wall and then go out tonight and get drunk, won't we? Probably, yes. We'll probably get drunk. And then we'll pass out or puke it up. And that'll be that. Well, if you insist. Well, what do you say? Are you fair? <coughs> well, I'm getting to it. I'm getting there.